I got two big announcements. So the first announcement is your boy is postponing the submissions all the way back to July 3rd. So the beat battle that we got going on will still happen on July 4th, but July 3rd, I'm most likely gonna cut it off, but we're gonna see, hit the link tree link in the description and it'll take you straight on to there. So the next announcement that I got, your boy YB got signed to Hitmaker. So he's giving you guys the opportunity to get a placement with Hitmaker. All the submissions as far as my battle have to be in by July 3rd and then I'm going live on July 4th and that's when we're gonna announce the winner all the links are down below uh, make sure that y'all like subscribe and you comment down below make sure you like subscribe and you comment down below if you can't you know figure out chords and stuff what you want to start off with is a R&B song that you're familiar with find the chords that are in there and go to like quarter five and then you can just play it and let you know exactly how to play it it has the ukulele, the piano, the guitar chords. All right, I'm going to show y'all, bro. I'll probably use like two or three sounds, bro, to make this R&B track. And one of them is going to be arcade. Um, let's go with F sharp minor. <laughs> You can just make whatever around it and then it doesn't have any words to it. And then I just try to keep everything just as spaced out. I'll turn this waves up a little bit. And then. All right. So like I said, we're in the key of F sharp. We could probably do maybe three chords just to keep it simple. Lounge Lizard. So what I'm playing is just a simple zero. Seven, and then you got ten. So zero, seven, and ten is what's making up that chord. Take the same method and apply it to another key. So for instance, just like I had showed you guys with the um, the zero, seven, ten, like that whole chromatic sequence. As long as you're sticking to that method, that's what you can use. I'm gonna record it. gonna put a love filter on here put a little pad so now let's just add some some piano over top of it and then really you could just take the same chords you did here copy and paste it literally two chords and you're spacing it out and it's like what's going on in the background and it's nothing but three instruments matter of fact we're gonna add one more instrument you got to use something that actually complements what's going on throwing necessary sounds in there and that's that's not it you feel me so what we're gonna do with this bass take this copy it boom subtle stuff like we're gonna make this short so we're gonna um control left click and then just hit uh shift d to shorten it all right do this you can do stuff like this all day I could pan because it's a one shot. I could pan one to the left and another one to the right. I probably ain't gonna pan it too much, but just enough. So then what's that second chord you're playing, bro? My bad. The next chord is just the F minor seven. Now all you're doing is you're gonna take the first note and take it down just one step. You're taking the second note and you're just going down a whole step. So you're just going down to, uh, right here then you take that c sharp move it down just one you're gonna take this f and you're just gonna go down a whole step so you're skipping when i say a whole step you're skipping a note and going to the next one so you're skipping this and going to the next note so that's how you end up coming up with both of those chords when y'all doing r b some notes is going to be out of the key so you're starting off with like a rose and the piano and then you just build up from there.
Now, I ain't going to say it's necessarily supposed to be like in front, but you could use something like this, like one shots, and make it for like a background. You can paint every note to the left, to the right, however you want to do it. And just imagine you're doing like some little effect in the background. I'm going to do this. like if I'd have kept it just like this it would have kind of threw off the lead rhythmically instead of just keeping it simple because like I said everything is so spaced out any type of like off rhythm could possibly throw it off if it's not like just something basic I could just go crazy with the lead and stuff like that but I know that's gonna take away from everything else that's being so simple because you got something standing out way too much all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into Insert four. Just gonna add some effects to it. I'm gonna take everything. We're just gonna randomize it. A delay, because I wanna add a little bounce to it. And then ping pong, you do a little cut. Because now I know I got all the sounds I want. So now I can make this unique. I can take the bass out for this part. I left arcade in the piano. Let's listen to this and see what we can take out as we're breaking it down. Like once you're done like this much, you can start breaking this joint down. So what we're gonna do, we're going to take out arcade, take out the bass, rolls in the plug. And then just listen to it as we go. Now, what I'm doing is anytime I bring up this level scaling is I'm, I'm making this less harsh within the VST because some VSTs velocities matter. So for this one specifically, Omnisphere, I just went on and turned it down. Being heard isn't the problem. It's the matter of how harsh that you're playing is what makes it a big difference. Not so harsh compared to having it up here somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Like that's a lot more harsh than <laughs> the way it was down here. And if I got a problem with it being low, then I mean, it's just a matter of exporting it as a wave or MP3 and then just turn it up. Everything with R&B is not rough if you, if you catch my drift. Let's put a soft clip up here just in case. And we're gonna export this as a wave or MP3 file. So first thing we're gonna do is we already exported it so now we're going to take this and pitch it you can pitch it down pitch it up but if anything make sure you restretch that you stretch this now say for instance if you have a whole bunch of wave files like it's a whole bunch of files that you did but you're not trying to go through all of them individually and try to stretch it all you got to do is go to tools go to macros right go all the way over here to switch all audio clips to real time stretching. All this does is it goes through each individual file. So what we're gonna do with this is either pitch it up or pitch it down just to give it a different feel. So we're gonna pitch it up 200 cents. And then after this, you, you start throwing effects on here. Like you can take it and do this. Probably what throw a half time on it. And then now you can probably pitch it up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Just mess around with it, have fun, like just do stuff that you've never done before. All they really need is some drums and an artist's voice up there. And this is the cool thing, bro. I love about uh, R&B is the fact that you build around it. Like this right now, this is just the foundation. But what you do as a creator, as a producer, somebody that's 
putting it all into a track, you build it. So it's the same concept for y'all anytime you're making beats, you're making melodies, anything. So in the description, if you see the Google link that's down below, make sure you click on that so you can get the MIDI because I'm, I'm releasing MIDIgram 2. So there should be 15 MIDIs that's inside of this MIDIgram teaser practice. Like I said, the link is down below in the description. Yeah, other than that, man, like I said, tap into YB's battle that they got going on. The battle will happen on July 1st. All the submissions need to be in by the 30th of this month. The submissions as far as my battle will be postponed to July 3rd and the battle will be on July 4th. Y'all got any questions, comments, or any concerns, drop that stuff down below. So you love and support. Yeah, other than that, man, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, bro. And I will see y'all next Saturday.